Hello, welcome to Fun Cars and Good People. My name is Carl. Today is 28th of April 2023, which is also a week before the track day in Libao International Racing Track in Taichung, Taiwan. I plan to take my E90 M3 to the track day and compare the normal driving mode with M drive modes. And after the track day, I will share my amateur opinion about the M drive. And now I'm at a Zuan Bian Yuan Ren DIY shop in uh, Bali, New Taipei City. You can do mechanical stuff and car washing here. Just contact the owner to make reservations, then bring your car over. The workshop provides all the tools you need. I plan to do the engine oil service, clutch fluid service, brake fluid service, and power steering fluid service, and also removing the wheel spacers from my car to have original settings on the track and also doing the tire rotations. I have done the previous three in the previous videos. You are very welcome to visit those videos for the walkthrough of these parts. So today we will focus most of our time on the power steering fluid service. Without further ado, let's start the work right away. Let's take a quick look at the power steering system of E9X M3s. The hydraulic fluid in the reservoir goes out via the suction line to the hydraulic pump. The fluid is pressurized to power the steering rack. Then, the fluid flows through the cooler, which is an exclusive feature of the E9X M3. The low pressure hydraulic fluid goes back into the reservoir via the return line. The documents in ISTA do not have maintenance service for the power steering system. There is only documentation about replacing certain components. I searched over the internet and found a useful method, which we will use in this video. I called it the return line bleeding method. We are going to disconnect the return line from the hydraulic fluid reservoir and plug the return port to stop the fluid from escaping. Add fresh power steering fluid to the reservoir. Simply turn the steering wheel to full left and then full right repetitively and the remaining fluid in the system will be pumped out from the disconnected return line hose. Top up the reservoir to prevent air getting into the system. Keep pumping out the old fluid until fresh fluid comes out via the return line. The system is properly flushed. The advantage of this method is that we neither have to lift the car high in the air nor to disassemble complicated parts like the reinforcement strut and the banjo bolts on the steering rack. So in this work, we are going to need 2 liters of power steering fluid. I use Pentosin CHF11 as the OE spec. A vacuum port plug is needed to close the power steering fluid reservoir. After the service, a stainless steel hose clamp is needed to secure the return line hose. The hydraulic fluid is corrosive and can damage the car pan. Brake cleaner is strongly recommended to clean up the mess. Latex gloves and goggles are also recommended. Car lift is strongly recommended to lift the front tires off the ground so less effort is required to turn the steering wheel. 10 mm hex socket is for disassembling the power steering fluid reservoir holder to work easily. A plier is required to break the original one-time use clamp that holds the return line hose. To remove and collect fluid waste, you may need suction tools or other setups to prevent it from getting all over the place. Like I said, hydraulic fluid is hazardous. Don't worry, this happens a lot. Oh, 
To make more room for working around the power steering fluid reservoir, we removed this rack. This is the special plier for the hose clamps. <laughs> okay, so this is the suction line or high pressure line. No, it's only the suction line. The brake fluid in the reservoir goes via here to the pump, to the power steering system, and this is the return line. The power fluid goes back to the reservoir via this line. We were stuck here for a long time because the return line hose just didn't want to come off. I used a hose removal hook to loosen the hose lip around the return port and finally got the hose off. This is the PVC hose cap I used for this work. I got it from my favorite O-ring shop, Yangzheng Puojin, in Xinzhu city. Okay, finally I put this rubber cap to seal the inlet to the reservoir. So originally, the rubber cap I bought is the inlet is too small, so I had to use scissors to cut off uh, the lip of the inlet, maybe about two millimeters, so the rest of the cap can expand and hold the nozzle. So finally, we can continue our work. Okay,我们把它锁很紧吗? This is the overfuel warning. I did not observe the markings on the dipstick and added too much power steering fluid. On the track, I immediately got a hydraulic spring under the engine hood. The fluid was all over the place. How stupid I was. Fortunately, only the excess portion escaped from the cab. Later, I drove one lap and checked no further leaks, so I could continue with the track day. This is the dipstick on the reservoir cab. Read the markings when the car is cooled down and top up correctly. So that is the power steering fluid service part. 
The rest of this video is the pre-check day maintenance. For a detailed walkthrough, please visit the FCG PDIY BMW E90 M3 playlist for the engine oil service and brake clutch fluid service. The track day video is coming soon, please stay tuned. Okay. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See ya. As always, I collect the drained engine oil sample and send it to Blackstone Laboratory for analysis to track the engine conditions. <laughs> and this is the magnetic drain plug I installed about 5,000 km ago. Nothing abnormal is found here. This time I remembered to prime the oil filter. Thanks to our viewer, Salvatore Pelitelli, for reminding me of this important tip. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Ding 就是女生對然後男生做女生的事情就是良好對對不對還不公平哦還要猜嗎這空氣型哦這個是對嘛那個金對是暖氣的反正我們等一下還會添你再露出來就沒有人被救了 The clutch and brakes share the same hydraulic fluid reservoir so the two systems can be serviced together 
Remember to keep the brake fluid level above minimum. Otherwise, air can get into the clutch hydraulic line easily. The electric vehicle is really fast. Did you bring the electric vehicle? No, the electric vehicle will be able to use the electric vehicle. And release it. Here you go. Oh, I'm now on the button. You just push it. Huh? You push it to the top one. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 We can remove the drain hose and secure the bleed valve. Okay, I think that's it. Sa车跟第二车不要搞错，我刚刚第一次才搞错，所以踩下去难怪你说没有。好，好，一，好。好, 二, 好 I followed the BMW brake service instructions to first flush the brake lines, then secondly remove air bubbles inside the system. So ISTA is used here to activate the DSC pump. 好,开始,对 OK, 然后呢,就是左后方了 好，一，好，二五，好，好，你去看一下，二十五下，有，哎，还差大概八米啊，但是我觉得 OK 了，我们就换弄那边，好，那边再给补个十下好了。So that's all for the pre-check day maintenance. Many thanks to my friend Hao Ming who helped me with this DIY work. And thank you for staying with us. See you on the track day. Bye-bye.